Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell for notifications. This is a DIY charger plate from the Dollar Tree. I am adding a bow and a hanger to it. My husband drilled two very small holes at the top of this charger plate for me. You have to do it very slowly and if it messes up a little bit, don't worry about it because you're going to have it covered up with a bow. Now you can glue the bows to the top of the plates, but then you risk them falling off. So I like this. I thought it was much more secure. Plus when I add the hanger, I know it's not going to come undone and fall off the wall. I have several ribbon choices here that I could do. They would all look great. It just depends on the look you're going for. These ribbons come from various places, Hobby Lobby, uh, Family Dollar, uh, there's probably some other craft stores and maybe even a Dollar Tree in there. Another tip when drilling the holes, put your finger on the top of the plate, turn it over and then mark it with a marker so you know where to drill. I want some pretty long tails so I am just holding the ribbon and deciding how long I want them and then I'll cut the ribbon determined how long I want the tails. You may just want some really short tails or no tails at all. My first thought was to double up the ribbon and have two different ribbon patterns going on but I decided after making the bow that I didn't like it um, and I just wanted to simplify it and do one pattern. But here is the bow I made with two ribbons in case you want to see how I do that. I'm making a center loop and then I'm going to make loops on each side and I'm doing five total loops. When you double up the ribbon like this it makes the bow very bulky so I didn't like that. I didn't want it to overwhelm the plate. I'm going to make this bow the exact same way I made the other one. I'm making a center loop and then I pinch it, twist the ribbon, make a loop, twist the ribbon again, make another loop on the other side and you just stick with that pattern of making a loop and twisting the ribbon and putting the next loop where you want it. Again I'm going to do five total loops and then I'm going to have the tail. When you cut off the excess ribbon, make sure that you leave a little bit there that overlaps. That way when you tie it off, it won't come undone. Now I'm just pinching it all together and, and attaching the tail to the back, pinching it in the middle and holding it all together. And then I'll take a Chanel stem and make sure that you go through that center loop. That way it gets tied correctly. And then you just turn it over and Pull it as tight as you can and give it a couple of twists. And since I drilled the holes, it's going to be very simple just to put those Chanel stem ends through the holes. Now you just want to pull it tight again, give it a couple of twists, and since there's enough left over of that Chanel stem, I can make the hanger out of that. I'm just overlapping it there at the end and twisting it a few times, and then of course you want to hide those ends. So tuck them all around and make a nice little circle. That way if you want to hang this on the wall, you can, or you can, you know, put it on a plate stand, however you want to do it. If you don't want to hang it, you can just push that Chanel, Chanel stem down to cover it up. You could tape it down if you needed to, but you should be able to just bend it down and not worry about it. Now you just want to fix your bow. You want to mess with the loops and make them nice and puffy. You just put your fingers in there and you can kind of move the loops around the way you want them. And then I'm just going to uh, bend my tails a little bit, give them kind of a wavy look. 
and then I will add just a touch of hot glue to the ends of them to the plate. It may not stay um, because of this glossy finish, but it should help it just a little bit. What I'm doing here is, since this ribbon frays very easily, I just put a little hot glue on the end and I'm folding it over. I'm not pressing down real tight because I don't want it to really look like it's been hot glued, <clears throat> but I want it to have a nice finish at the end of the tails. Now if you have a vinyl cutter, you can add personalization to the bottom of this. You could add names, a last name, whatever you wanted to do there. and Just do it around the curve. Here's where I add just a little dab of hot glue to kind of hold those tails in place. Of course you could use a little E6000 glue here too to make sure that they stayed in place. Okay guys, that's it. Um, if I end up putting some vinyl on it, I will do a little video for that, but that is the end for now. I hope you all have some fun decorating these charger plates. You can do so much with them. Happy decorating and Merry Christmas everyone. Don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell for notifications, share, like, comment. Thank you.